<laughs> now the wheelchair adventurer David Hempelman Adams is heading off on another death-defying feat next month. He's going to be flying over the Atlantic in the smallest ever gas balloon. Yeah, this is the same man who hosted the world's highest dinner party in formal attire. But he also has a number of more serious firsts to his name. He's no stranger to danger. Among his achievements, David Hempelman Adam lists trips to both the North and South Poles, He's climbed all the world's highest mountains, including Everest, and he holds the hot air balloon altitude record. This latest challenge involves crossing the Atlantic in the smallest gas balloon ever to attempt it. The envelope itself is no bigger than most people's front room, with an open basket the size of a coffee table. It looks a bit like a child's balloon, but this will be no party. With temperatures dropping to minus 20, he'll be exposed to anything the Atlantic weather has to throw at him. But he's ballooned across the Atlantic before, the first man to do it in an open basket. So I suppose he knows what he's letting himself in for. Sally Challoner, BBC Points West. And we're very lucky to be able to talk to David now. He's in our studio in London. Good evening to you. Um, now you've crossed the Atlantic in a balloon before. You know what to expect. What's the worst thing about a trip like this, especially in such a tiny balloon? Well, the last flight was in a much bigger uh, balloon. Um, that was something like 90,000 cubic feet. This is a really, really small balloon, 37,000. And uh, to put it into context, you could actually fly this balloon in Branson's balloon when he uh, tried the Atlantic. So it's very, very small. So I will be at much lower levels in, in some of the weather. Um, and because it's a wicker basket open to the weather, you know, you can actually get anything really. Blown away. Where are you going to sleep in such a tiny balloon? Because you do have a very special answer to that one, really, don't you? Well, it's so small, um, there's a little cat flap that <laughs> opens up uh, on the side, so I, I can actually put my legs out and so I can stretch out. But, um, and cat napping is really the operative word because you only get probably an hour at a time at the most. So uh, if I can get two or three hours sleep in uh, one day, I'll be lucky. Aren't you something of a somnambulist, actually? Didn't you once nearly climb out of a balloon half asleep? That, that was after a six-day flight, and that was, uh, yes, I nearly did <laughs> uh, crawl out. But this time I got a pretty good um, harness, so hopefully that won't happen again. Excellent. Well, I hope not. We wish you the very best success, and thank you for joining us.